In this review video, we're going to talk about the domain and range of an exponential. I recall that the domain of a function is just the inputs, it's all the x values you can plug in. And exponentials are really nice, you can plug anything into an exponential, so the domain is always all real numbers. I can plug anything into these exponentials. The range of a function is all the y values you get out, all right, the outputs of your function. And for an exponential graph, it's all going to depend on that horizontal asymptote. So we have this horizontal asymptote, and we're only on half of the graph, that's going to tell me my range. I just say I want to determine the range of y equals 2 to the x. I can look at the graph, I want you to know how to graph, and we see there's nothing drawn down here, and everything's above this horizontal asymptote. So my range is going to be everything that's bigger than 0. I never actually hit the asymptote, and that's why I put it on there as a dotted line, so I have strictly bigger than 0. So if I just look at the graph, I see I have everything above this asymptote. What about 2 to the x minus 3 minus 2? Well, that's just our last graph, but shifted right and down. And when it gets shifted down, the asymptote also gets shifted down. So now I can see I have everything that's bigger than or equal to negative 2. So everything above this asymptote at negative 2. And what about negative 1 third to the x plus 1 plus 4? I wrote graph 1 third to the x. Do our transformation. We end up getting this graph. Remember that negative flips it upside down. And now I can see I have this asymptote and I'm getting everything below it. Now I'm y is less than 4. All right, I have everything below this asymptote at 4. So if you find where your asymptote is and just know if you're above or below it, that basically tells you what your range is. All right, so if you can graph, that helps a lot. Uh, you can also reason through these a bit. Right, but now you can practice that skill and always know your domain and range of your exponentials.